everybody, Miss Jody here. Miss Nancy's here with me. I'm sitting outside of Hanahan Hall in the middle of the plumbago. Look how big this plumbago bush is. I don't know that I've ever seen one this big. And every year it gets this big and it really is a beautiful bush. Anyway, I think it was planted by Dr. Tate. You guys probably don't know him, but he's a friend of mine. So I have a book for you today. It's called Thank you, Jesus. I love this book because it's about a little kitty cat. Well, and he's kind of different from other kitty cats. And it just reminds me how none of us are alike and we're all different, yet we all have something in common. So the book is written by Charlotte Lundy, illustrated by Heather Claremont. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Jesus. Look, Grandma, said Madison, there's a kitten in your backyard. Can I go play with him? Sure you can, said Madison's grandmother, but be careful and stay in the backyard. Madison slowly tiptoed out to where the kitchen kitten was playing. She didn't want to scare him away. When she got up close to the kitten and bent down to pet him, she noticed something was wrong. Suddenly, she jumped up and ran back to her grandmother. What's wrong, Madison? Her grandmother asked. The kitten is missing part of his back leg, and I'm afraid to play with him, said Madison. Oh, said Madison's grandmother. Let's go back and check out this little kitten. So Madison and her grandmother walked to where the little kitten stood waiting. Her grandmother picked up the kitten and gave him a gentle hug. Oh, Madison, this kitten is so soft and sweet. It looks like he was born with part of his back leg missing. He's so cute. Would you like to hold him, she asked. No, I don't want to hold him, Madison cried. He only has three legs. I'm afraid of him because he's different. Madison's grandmother gave her a big hug and said, sometimes people and animals are born who look different from the others. And sometimes accidents happen that leave us hurt or looking different than we used to. But just because someone is different doesn't mean that we should be afraid of them. All of these people and animals are special because they have overcome their injuries or handicaps, Madison's grandmother told her. Just like this little kitten, even with part of his leg missing, he can still jump and climb trees and chase butterflies like other kittens his age. Look at the way he plays with my apron string, Madison's grandmother showed her. We need to be kind to animals and people who have handicaps because they have feelings too, said Madison's grandmother. Why don't you hold him while I tell you a story about a kind man in the Bible named Jesus? This was the story that Madison's grandmother told her. A long time ago, there was a man named Jesus, and he was God's son. Like his father, Jesus believed that everyone was special. When Jesus traveled around the world, he told everyone about God's love. During his travels, he met a lot of different people. Sometimes when Jesus came to town, he would help the needy and heal the sick. Jesus was kind to everyone. When the blind man met Jesus, he said to him, Please, Jesus, I cannot see. Help me. When the crippled man saw Jesus, he said to him, Please help me, Jesus. I cannot walk. When the woman with leprosy met Jesus, she said, my skin has sores all over it. Please help me, Jesus. After Jesus talked and prayed with these people, he made the little blind man see. He made the crippled man walk, and he healed the woman with leprosy. Jesus was kind and loving. Jesus 
was loved and respected in return. Everyone was sad when it was time for him to leave, said Madison's grandmother. This kitten knows that you love him too. Listen to him purr as he sleeps in your lap. He feels safe and secure with you, her grandmother said. Oh, Grandma, you're right, Madison said as she looked up at the little kitten asleep in her lap. I do love this kitten. Can I keep him, please, she asked. Her grandmother thought about it for a while, and they gave the kitten some milk. Sure, you can keep him, she said. He could stay right here with me at my house, and when you come to see me, he will be waiting for you. Oh, thank you, Grandma Madison said. I promise I will take good care of him, feed him, and love him. Thank you for telling me the story about Jesus. As Madison looked up to the sky, she gave her kitten a little hug, and she said, Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to teach us to love everyone, even though we may be different. The end. What a great lesson, everyone. I loved this book, and it says, I love the last part of it. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to teach us to love everyone, even though we may be different. What a great lesson for all of us to remember every day, to love everyone, even though they may be different. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book, and we'll see you again soon.